My name is Michael Stewart. My title is Plant Manager of the Natchez Wastewater Treatment Facility. We are rated at 5 million gallons a day. Our population is 30,000. The pre-screening part of our plant consists of a manual bar screen, two aerated grit basins, and a newly installed Parkson automatic bar screen. As the flow leaves the pre-screening, it goes to two aeration basins. Those aeration basins is where our biological treatment begins. Those basins are equipped with four 50 horsepower aerators each. As the flow leaves those aeration basins, it is now ready to enter into two clarifiers. Those clarifiers are quiet and quizzed conditions, causing the sludge to settle to the bottom leaving a blanket. That blanket can get up to five, six feet. The clear supernatant that's left on top flows over to a chlorine contact basin where we inject chlorine into the sludge or into the water. That water is also dechlorinated by sulfur dioxide before flowing to the Mississippi River. Now about that sludge that's left in the bottom of the clarifiers. A portion of that sludge is recirculated or returned to the aeration basins used for food for our microorganisms. Also, the portion that is not used is pumped to two aerobic digesters. As those digesters begin to fill up, it is then pumped into two three-acre lagoons. That is when our thermal system begins. The sludge is pumped into a 65,000 gallon tank using a sludge dredge that's out in the middle of our lagoon. From the tank it is pumped into the belt press room where we add a polymer to it. That polymer is mixed with the sludge for a thickener and consistency to keep it on the belt. Through the opening of a valve we are ready to add the sludge to the belts. Now the sludge goes on to the belts at 2.5%. As it leaves the belt, it is 22%. It then falls into a conveyor, which evenly spreads it into a sludge trailer. That trailer is trucked 500 feet across the plant to two Parkson solar drying beds. As the truck back into the drying beds, it evenly distributes that sludge over the entire floor of the beds. That sludge is six inches in depth. Those beds also are equipped with two molds. The molds are used to aerate and also evenly spread the biosolids on the floor. At that time, the operator is now ready to place his data in the PLC and after that he's ready to punch start new batch. The computer itself will automatically tell you when that batch is ready. After the batch is finished it is now ready to be used as a fertilizer or a fuel. Now we like these thermal drying beds because they are going to save us money and last year alone we spent over three hundred thousand dollars removing sludge from our lagoon, injecting it into the ground at the Natchez airport. It uses the cheapest source of energy that's available to us, which is the sun, which is free. Another reason is that it is safe. In over 150 of these units that Parkson have installed, there has been no news of any accidents. And thirdly, it's no labor. Every, everything is done automatically. So that is the reason why we like this product. And I would say that Natchez is ahead of the pack in the state of Mississippi because of this new thermal system.